everyone, it's Miss Molly. I have another story for you today. It's another special request from Nora in Miss Erin's afternoon class. If anyone else has any special requests, a book they want to um, hear about, let us know and we will do our best to find one for you. Um, so for The Little Mermaid, I have two things. One is a little thing I'm going to show you about The Little Mermaid and then I have a mermaid story to read to you. The first thing I have to show you that Nora wanted to see um, is this special book that has um, scenes inside of it from lots of different Disney movies, okay? So when you open it up, the first one you see is a scene from Snow White. Then there's also one from Cinderella and Beauty and the Beast. And the one that Nora is waiting for is The Little Mermaid. It has this scene that shows all the characters from The Little Mermaid. And inside is a little story that pops out. Okay, here is the story that goes with The Little Mermaid scene. Ariel, The Little Mermaid, had always longed to be part of the human world but her father had forbidden her to visit it. One night, she bravely rescued a prince named Eric from drowning in a terrible storm. After that, Ariel wanted to live in the human world more than ever so she could be with the prince. Ursula, the sea witch, had offered to make Ariel human in exchange for her beautiful voice. But would Ariel be able to win Prince Eric's heart in three days before Ursula's spell ended? She knew she had to try. Ariel wanted more than anything to live happily ever after with her prince. That's the story that comes with the Little Mermaid scene. Now I'm going to read to you a book about mermaids. Okay, friends, this is the mermaid book I have to read to you. Nora, I hope you like it. It's called Barbie and a Mermaid Tale. Merlia loves to surf. She is the best surfer in Malibu. Merlia's hair turns pink. She dives underwater. She can breathe. Merlia meets Zuma. Zuma is a dolphin and Zuma talks. Zuma tells Merlia about her past. Merlia is half mermaid. Merlia's mother was a mermaid named Calissa. Merlia's mother gave her a necklace. Merlia does not believe Zuma and she smashes the necklace. Mermaid magic comes out and it shows Merlia's mother and she is in trouble. Please help her, Zuma says, and Merlia agrees. They swim deep into the ocean. Merlia and Zuma go to Oceana. It is a pretty city underwater. Calissa is the true queen of Oceana, but Merlissa's evil aunt Eris is now queen, and she keeps Calissa in prison. Two mermaids give Merlia a fake tail. They will help Merlia. So will Snouts. He is a baby sea lion. Merlia goes to the destinies. They tell fortunes. They tell her to do three tasks and then she can beat Eris. Merlia climbs high. She does the first task. She finds the magic comb. Now Merlia must find a dream fish. Zuma knows where to go. Eris's manta sharks chase them. They must escape. Merlia surfs a huge current. She meets a dream fish. The dream fish loves Merlia surfing. He will help her.
Merlia has one more task. She needs Eris's necklace. Merlia has a plan, and she grabs the necklace. Eris is angry. Eris traps Merlia in a whirlpool. Merlia accepts that she is a mermaid. She gets a real mermaid tail. Merlia escapes. Eris is trapped in the whirlpool instead. Oceana is saved. Calissa is free. Merlia finally meets her mother. Calissa gives Merlia a new magic necklace. Merlia has a home in both worlds. I hope everyone liked my stories about mermaids and my scenery with the Little Mermaid. Um, if anyone else has a story they want to hear something about, let us know and uh, we can try and do that for you. Thanks everyone. Have a good day.